feel like a news anchor. I'm so ready for you this. You are one. a news anchor. Oh, you can totally do the weather with your you know what? accessories. I was, I... Welcome back to this week's edition of Luxury Listings. Have you started? I'm your host. <laughs> Marsha Pozzel, and this here is Tanya Fernandez. Oh, good God. Why did I sign up for this I, gig? I had, to, <laughs> I had to bring the cape in, yeah. right? Have you ever been to a listing appointment mm -hmm. and someone has said, would you sell my home because I know you only sell luxury? Well, firstly, I think if they've reached out to me or any of us, right. I do think they're expecting luxury. Agree. It's all in the experience. Right? Yeah. And it's us creating that luxe experience yes. for the client because yes. that's something we really love and enjoy. Really, this yeah. prompted a thought. Yes. Um, because I did have that recently where someone, I went to an appointment and they said, I know you sell luxury real estate. Correct. Right? And so I said, well, let me tell you what we mean by that because Correct. a lot of it is the luxury client experience, which, right? right? Um, it's the experience of buying and selling real estate with us. Right. Now, mind you, luxury is defined completely different for each of us. Like, my definition will be different from yours, but I have to be different from yours. However, we're sitting in a, in a luxe property today that is listed. Um, and so, you know, are there things you could do to your own home to increase the value and give you that luxurious vibe? Because there are elements to a home that can make it feel luxe. Absolutely. Right? Like for this kitchen, for example. Well, a kitchen, uh, and I can speak from personal experience and, you know, kind of clients that we take around to see homes, majority of your entertaining, just because of the way our lifestyle is, happens in the kitchen and the surrounding areas. Yeah. So I would say the clients made a super smart decision when they decided to go ahead with a 10 feet island, right? Where everybody gathers around entertain, bend in fixtures, yes. right? Where light kind of comes through, choices of appliances, invest in things that you're going to use, yes. right? Absolutely. A lot, and it's gonna last you over the years and you're gonna enjoy that experience of using it because you've invested in something that is good quality. That is good quality and like you said, it's the heart of the home. Correct. Any way you slice We are it. in the heart of the home. <laughs> oh my God. Yes, so we are the heartbeats in the heart of the home. Right? <laughs> there you go. This side, right? Yeah. Left. 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 Yes, I think mine's here too. This is the heart of the home. And you know, uh, as we take clients to showings and such, many a times you hear, I love the flow of a kitchen. I need to be able to have this little dining space off of it. Or I need right. to be able to view the living room off of it if they have young kids. Or even for entertaining, like you said, they don't want to miss out on conversations when people are over, right? Right. Like that flow. And with a 10-foot island, my goodness, every, nobody's leaving here. Exactly. <laughs> it's gorgeous, right? But there are other things you could do to your home, of course, investing in your kitchen. The return on investment for something like that. Oh, for sure. Is, oh, we have a showing. I'll be right back. Buyer alert. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, gosh. Just tell him we need five minutes. So I would say one thing to consider when you're deciding to do any type of renovation because it can be very expensive yes. um, and it can bring up a lot of other issues that you don't anticipate. Oh, yes. Right. So the important aspect is, is to really plan ahead of time. So plan slow and act fast. Hire the right contractor. Mm -hmm. If you ever want any recommendations, we're happy to make oh, that. Yes. Right? And fire fast. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if it's not working, right? You have to be really Correct. careful with who you work with. Uh, not only looking at previous work, but looking at, uh, you know, reviews, um, timelines. Correct. How do they maintain your home while working in your home? Like, there are a lot of features that you should consider. But definitely Absolutely. your ROI. Uh, kitchen renovations, bathroom renovations, basement renovations, um, accessory dwelling renovations. These are all huge ticket item, big undertaking for you, uh, but you should reap a significant ROI on those specific invites. Right. And just so you know, we do have a lot of uh, clients that reach out to us, you know, um, yeah. they, may think, they may be thinking of moving a couple of years down the line, but making those smart decisions that would help in elevating and yes. increasing the value of your home and you enjoy it for and those you years that it. you're there. That's but we're it. there to help make those recommendations 
um, and also maybe save you some money at the same time because you're putting your dollar yeah. in a place that's going to give you enjoyment but at the end of the day also yes you know smart investments exactly smart investments and yes it doesn't all have to be white kitchens you can have beautiful dramatic pieces of of tile and paint into your home as well that's this week's edition of Lux Listing we'll see you again next time hi i'm Tanya and i'm Varsha and this is coffee with keystone, keystone.